Hey, you! Yes! You tell me, sweet little boy. Yes, you! I know you have Liz, and I want you to release her. Liz? I think you're confused, boy. <laughs> no, I know it's you. I saw her in the trunk of your dirty van. If you don't release it, I'm gonna fry your brain with this shotgun that I made myself. <laughs> Do you really think I know who you're talking about, huh? I don't remember the names of all the children I captured, you idiot! Uh, stupid boy! You have the guts to face me, huh? But you're not fat enough to be useful to me, huh? Wait a second. There's an easy solution to that. Open up and say, ah! Perfect landing. What have you done? Wow. It's very tasty ice cream. I don't know why you did this, but I'm gonna exterminate you anyway. What is happening to me? What is that? Hello, chubby boy. Now you're chump and plubby just like I like it. <laughs> Going to get a today. I'm looking for the chump plubby one. Going to find me some chubby kids and we're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> Huh?
Jay, it's you? What happened the other day? How do you think of jumping with the van running? How? So that was what Charlie wanted to tell me? Where is he? I, I mean, is he okay? Yes, in the end, I managed to jump at one of the stops. Are the others okay? <gasps> oh, it is so nice. We have to do something. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> Soon there will be no one left. <laughs> Rod, do you live here? Rod, are you at home? You have to go back to her. You still don't understand, please. You have to come back. Oh, this has an explanation, Rod. Rod! Well, in that case, I'll leave this to you. It has been written by your own mother. Huh?
Huh? <laughs> My eyes fool me, I'm sure. Uh, is he healthy? I, I don't understand. How is this possible? Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. No, it can't be. Is this true? How could this be? This baby seems to have been born. I, I don't understand. <gasps> so it's true. It is a miracle. A miracle.
Jay, is that you? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? That's crazy. What are you talking about? Leave me alone. Jay, is that you? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? I'm not afraid of that stupid ice cream maker. How did you not tell me that Rod had my sister? Are we not friends anymore? Looks like you didn't do very well. Next time, be sure to keep me in mind. Remember that I am the bravest of the four. You don't understand me. I... Ugh. Jay, is that you? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? I'm not afraid of that stupid ice cream maker. How did you not tell me that Rod had my sister? Are we not friends anymore? Looks like you didn't do very well. Next time, be sure to keep me in mind. Remember that I am the bravest of the four. Well, yes. <clears throat> uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, let's go. Congratulations, Rod, for your 15th birthday. Be strong. We heard about the death of Joseph Sullivan. I wish I could be with you right now, but the Lord requires me here a little more. Congratulations, Rod, for your 16th birthday. Even though I can't come to you, you can visit me whenever you want. Don't resent me for not seeing you. If you knew why, I can't go see you. Congratulations, Rod, for your 17th birthday. Please... Come see me, I ask you. 
Congratulations, Rod, for your 18th birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your 19th birthday. Your 20th birthday. 21st birthday. 22nd birthday. 23rd birthday. 24th birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your 25th birthday. This will be the last time I write to you. It seems that nothing I say is enough for you to come back to me. Even so, I never stop dreaming of the day you and I meet again. We have so much to talk about. I want to hug you like when you were four years old and you were with me. Keep the book I give you as your most precious asset, for I will reveal a secret that only Joseph Sullivan knew. He stole it from me, but now I give it to you. Thanks to the fact that more time has passed, I have been able to improve the formula. You are my son, and you deserve it all. I will give you the opportunity to synthesize an extraordinary chemical compound with equal force to create a sparkling sun of life or a moon full of death. Warmly, your mother who will always be with you, Sister Madeline, S.M. Huh? Please! <laughs> no! You're a... Ah! 